In an era of unprecedented change, the internet revolution has forever altered how we shop, how we date, how we work, basically how we live. For entrepreneurs, it's been a veritable cyber gold rush. In fact, the number of internet-powered home-based businesses has nearly doubled in the last 20 years. Opportunity abounds, but the new economy has also spawned a new breed of criminal looking to make a quick buck at your expense. This is Scam Report. separate fact from fiction in the world of work at home programs with the help of a private investigator with years of experience uncovering illegal get rich quick schemes. Work at home scams have become more popular and victims have become more plentiful. We'll meet an expert in the field of home based businesses who successfully harnessed the power of the internet to change his future. For every legitimate work at home opportunity, there's probably a hundred scams as well as a victim of a common scam i thought everything was okay and then all of a sudden they disappear it just devastates you it happens to a lot of people every day it's really tough i could have been homeless and we'll also come face to face with con artists who made it their business to feed without remorse on the dreams of the underinformed those who are looking for the road to prosperity on the path of least resistance i would pretend to be homeless. I would go into dumpsters of apartments looking for cans, but I was really looking for people's identity information. When you have a rent payment, you have kids. Money has to come in somewhere. The next 30 minutes may help set you on the road to a brighter financial future while avoiding common pitfalls. Stay tuned. At this very moment, thousands of Americans are making steady supplemental or even primary income with their computers. A few even strike it rich, but many others strike out. I am 27 years old. I live in San Diego, California. I'm an artist of all types, even though I already have multiple part-time jobs. I was really desperate for funds because I could not make ends meet. Um, I don't have any financial help from family or anything like that, so I have to pay my bills and eat. So I found this work from home company and they essentially explained to me that they have US dollars that they wanted to convert to Bitcoin. And all I would have to do is take their money from their account and pretty much just transfer it to Bitcoin. So I did the footwork or so I thought, and I also signed a contract with them to be a 1099 employee myself. For several months, I would pull money from their accounts into mine and then use those funds to go buy Bitcoin. I'm pulling thousands of dollars. Everything was going through for the most part. Then all of a sudden, actually about two months ago, each of the transactions all of a sudden came up as unauthorized, leaving me with negative $20,000 in my PayPal account. When the initial transfer of their money came back as unauthorized, I contacted this company and explained to them the issue, and then all of a sudden they disappeared. Absolutely no answer. So I immediately started calling lawyers. They all denied me. That made me feel so hopeless. I wasn't able to access payments that were from my clients that I worked for because they were sending it to my PayPal using my income to pay off something that was stolen from me. It's disheartening and it, it kind of makes me just extremely wary of contacting people online even though I desperately need income. I'm just, you know, trying to support myself. So what are some of the more common con games you might encounter when you start the search for your ideal work at home opportunity? We went to EJ Hilbert to get an experienced professional point of view. One of the most common work at home scams is the reshipper. A 
individual or a group will claim that they are an international company or a uh, telemarketing firm and they need somebody to serve as their shipping group. So they will send you products, which you will turn then go and forward on to another location. The problem is that those products are our stolen products. And when law enforcement comes knocking, they come knocking on your door. They come looking to you. Matt, how did you get involved with this in the first place? And my job was to receive a package that was shipped to a customer, take it out of the box, make sure the contents were correct, take pictures, and then ship it to the person it was going to. What did you think you were doing? I thought I was actually doing that. I thought I was doing quality control for big companies and just making sure they package their items right, send them right to customers. I thought I was doing something legit. And in reality, what were you doing? I was getting shipped stolen items from stolen credit cards and shipping them to other people. So you became the middleman in a much larger criminal enterprise.